Alright, hello, and welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. Oh, yeah. Roy's informant is a skittish type. Shut up, I'm doing this right now. This is my case, not yours. Anyway, we're back here with a special DLC case. Woo. 50 bucks? Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. <laughs> oh, very good. Good point, Cole. Warm. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. You oh, yay, thanks. Wait. I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Hey, I'm not crazy. I'm just differently minded. Alright, let's get, let's get going here. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't actually remember this case very well. This is a DLC case. I've only played it like once. And it's Vice also. I played the traffic DLC cases a couple of times before I did them on the playthrough, and that was pointless. Uh, Get this. Not the cases, but Middle of the afternoon, me going to my notebook there. This crazy there. woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones oh. up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. Christ! Are you kidding me? That fire hydrant is like fucking titanium. Get out of here. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, All right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? Shit. Uh. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll redo that just so you can hear that. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> God damn it. I don't go into letting games with that bad taste. Well, then you're an idiot. I'm sorry. 50 bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. <laughs> oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious. I'm today. scintillating. Oh, yeah. I want to be scintillating. Listen to yourself. That sounds sexy. Scintillating. Yeah, well, I don't have the same cars you and yet I'm driving yours so ha huh, you're an idiot <laughs> who's the bitch here really get this middle of the afternoon this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in the fire brigade come and put it out a couple hours later she does it again phones up central and says I've set fire to my hotel twice today you'd better come and get me <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Well, look at Ko, he's like, Cole, he's like so stoic, I said Ko. <laughs> That's even more stoic name than Cole. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're back. Um, if I didn't jump skip, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I, I, I would jump cut that. I did. I did talk a little bit, and I felt like I had a couple of funny things to say. But you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. Probably not going to show it. Who knows? Hey. There's a little snake. Never mind. It's not. That's who him I, in the back. Wait. What are you looking at me for? Huh? What are you looking at me for? What's wrong? Huh? I'm a detective, yeah, so what? What of it? Whoa, okay, you're a witch. I'm getting out of here. Would you recommend a special mix? Mm, He's only a writer. He can't really help me. Okay, that was not a logical transition in the cover conversation. <sighs> Alright, and plus you're like putting a fork in your mouth without anything on it, it looks like, so you people are something special. Two club sandwiches. Oh, hi. Thank you, waitress. What, no cutscene to bring us into this? All right. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help oh, okay. Me, right? you That's go. what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reason. What about the 50? You said... Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Brass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? 
to get stashed at a house at Fortune. No, he must have counted. It's pretty specific. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Wow. Juan. Be careful. Juan or Juan? Let's go say it's say Juan. Oh. Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's yeah, I'm cool. I'm gonna sell a little swerve and gangster. Mm -hmm. Spend your money Crazy. on a bus ticket. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. And you, fuck off. Don't even try looking at me. You remind me of, of that other, of that drunk guy who's not really drunk and then became a lawyer and then became a medical guy or whatever. And, you know, I'm not having it. You look like him, but then it is you're not him. So, you're someone else. But I, don't, I just don't trust you, so shut the fuck up. And you, what are you doing staring at the wall like that, you idiot? You high? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just go with yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Bye-bye. Um, oh, here's our car. Wow. Way to keep up with the pace, Cole. Places to be, things to do, yeah. Alright. Wait a minute. What? what? What address was that? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it said. <laughs> never mind. I thought it said 142 you North Union story? Drive. Sure. A hop headlight sure, yes. Why didn't really say sure? Score. When you say sure, it makes you sound actually uh, ironically unsure, so it's like, what? Say yes. Yes, sir. Mr. Joe, sir. Dr. Joe. Sir. Anyway. Mm. Uh, the palmy streets of LA. What a shitty sight to see. Oh, here we're coming up here. So is this gonna be like the Mexican episode, or are we gonna be doing a lot of Mexicans this DLC? It seems like we deal with a lot of Mexicans every DLC case, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, shit. What? Wait, just because we're guys in suits, really? Wow, you guys are racist. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. They're probably just trying to kill us because we're white. That's pathetic. Wow, how does he not get shot? He could have just shot him right there. Hey. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, you shot my hat off, you fucking assholes. Okay, don't worry, this will happen. Okay. Okay, 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 hold on, okay. If I move, I die. So hold on a second. Don't worry. Okay, you're gonna take cover eventually. Of course. Are you kidding me? Come on. Damn it! <laughs> I got impatient. Every time they I stick my fucking gun out, like they having to take cover. That's such a bull crap. Come on, skip this for me. I know, I know what happens. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Huh? You want some now? Huh? Yeah, you fucking idiots. Oh. Oh, that was the only two. Oh. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Oh, I didn't know it was that simple. I oh. Okay. I think I remember you guys don't have to leave a mess. Mm. Have to. Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and you know, the rest of the story tells itself. Yeah, I pwned them. Well, they killed me the first time, but then I got my revenge, like, almost immediately, because I was g skilled like that. Yeah, I think the last time I played this, I actually snuck around and, like, got them from the back or something. Inside. I don't know. I feel like I did something like that, so this kind of disappoints me. I kind of wanted to go in there. I didn't realize there was, like, two of them. I thought there'd be more. I thought, like, I'd kill those two, and then i go further, and there's more, and i go inside, and... Whatever. It becomes, like, a Max Payne mission, but whatever. Oh, well. Uh, so nothing there, nothing there, very interesting. I guess this isn't homicide, so there most likely wouldn't be anything on the face and hands. 
not as often anyway. Like, oh look, he's dead. Oh look, there's blood on his hands because I shot him. Oh. Silver dollar. About the fifty cents out of circulation. Oh, I was gonna comment on that. All right. Oh wow, I actually took that. <laughs> took it for myself. <laughs> Damn, I wonder if it's worth anything. Juan Garcia Cruz. Okay, so. Cool. Yeah, he's the guy we thought he was. Cool. <laughs> Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address. But this place looks like a. He's not married. That ain't. That ain't. That ain't Mexican of you. Juan. Juan. God damn it. Alright. Take your gun. Alright, let's examine this gun. Let's see what's special about this gun. Alright, so it's a gun. We don't normally have these here. In the US. Why, well, I'm not... Uh, yeah, okay, I, I live in the US now. Anyway. Uh, we don't have these here. Um, in the country I don't live in. And, uh, and, and yeah, so it must have been smuggled. Good job, Cole. All right. A bottle. They probably... Hold on, Cole. They probably use this to stuff Molotov cocktails into. And they were planning on throwing them at us. And you see, it, it, there it probably says Lenny. It probably, it probably means like Lenny Petrovic or something, you know, some Russian, you know. So they're probably connected to the Russians through this b beer bottle. All right. So far, I'm piecing a lot of puzzles. Piecing, I'm piecing all the, I'm piecing a lot of the, the puzzle together. Yeah. Cool. Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Damn. At least they got it in bulk. But it lasts like a whole lifetime. Or, I don't know, a while. Six months. <laughs> I don't know. Six months of soup, not bad. Dictionario, dictionario. Espanol, English, English. Yeah, I would, Cole, but that's that's not much of a stretch. You're pretty much an idiot. Sorry. Oh, God, Cole, you're so stupid. I'm just saying, man. I mean, in my, all my time with you so far, I just... The most I realize about you now is that you're not as smart as you like to make yourself out to be. Mm. Don't think this is any use to us. Another day, another we could use it to kill them more efficiently. I think that'd be useful. Not yeah. everything here is going to be relevant. Well, you're not relevant, Cole. Shut up. All you are is just some faggot solving a case. God, anyone could do this. Anyone in your position could do this. Freaking idiot. You think you're special? Huh? Huh? No. You're not. Look at you. What are you taking notes about? Oh, what were you looking over there? Oh, there appears to be another box of soup. Hmm. Great notes, genius. Fuck off. All right, we got something to look at finally. Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. The 20th century market. Oh my God, they are the ultimate villains of this game. I've figured it out. And Jesus. He's also the ultimate villain of this game. Jesus and the 20th century market are working together to plot against the LAPD. And only we can stop them. Are you ready for this journey? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, let's go into the shed here. Of course, the Mexicans have a shed. Oh, why did you have to kick it in? That was not necessary. All right, let's look at the stupid soup thing. Nothing significant. Or whatever that is. 
Okay. I'm just not. G I'm just gonna ignore until I see that it looks like it's something useful. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh, hello? Sugar? Oh, I guess so. What? Wait, what? Wait a minute, it was just, it was just saying like yes and then Cole's like no? What? <laughs> Hold on. Doesn't look like anything. Ah. Uh... Looks like it is, but I don't. What? <laughs> Hasn't given me anything to go on. Well, it keeps telling me that there's something to go on here. What are you doing? Probably nothing. No, it's not probably nothing. It's probably something. It tells me that it's fucking something. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, this game is like being dumb. This game is breaking itself. That's not my fault. No good to me. Wait, so seems irrelevant. Okay, well I'm glad you could just fucking speak for me, Cole. Oh, okay, there we go. Is that a glitch? Was that a glitch, Jersey? That was the worst glitch ever. I disagree with it. A hundred percent. Uh, someone who doesn't want, someone who wants to have soup all their lives. Someone who doesn't want their soup being stolen. You hungry or something? I mean, come on, you see these guys? They're fucking getting soup. All they have is soup. You really think they're gonna fucking waste it? I'd say that's pretty good value for twelve cents. Uh. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Factory sealed. Uh oh, Cole's inductive abilities. You've instantly figured out that it's someone else responsible. Cole, you're amazing, man. Alright, let's do this one too. Let's see if we get anything different. Are we gonna get anything different? Oh my god, it's another one. Oh. Alright, cool. C cool. Oh, look, the shining light. Of course, it's not trying to tell me anything. Delivery ledger. Oh my god. Juan dead. We need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Oh, thanks for telling me, jackass. Oh, it's a good thing I can read. Let's see. Oh god. Wow, I'm noticing very obvious patterns here. They didn't really make this one tough for me. This guy EJ seemed to be bringing in most of the serious weight. <sighs> Dates and times seem pretty regular. Should notify the border crossing. Wait. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. No, hold on. I want to see the rest of the ledger. God damn it, you fucking assholes. Uh, Coy, why do you stop looking at the ledger? Like, come on, there could be something else, idiot. Maybe there's another guy who's involved. You don't know. If I'm making assumptions, Cole. You're supposed to be a detective. A detective, Cole. You're not being a good one right now, I'm just saying. You're being pretty shitty, to be honest with you. If I'm gonna be quite honest. Oh my god. Alright. So, we found some, like, pot or whatever in soup cans. Woo. Oh no. What a debacle. Now, what do we do? What's this? Oh my god. It's... It's an electrical current thing. <gasps> oh my god, they're trying to be like Einstein. They're gonna... Su they're gonna summon electricity down from lightning and... Use it to become Thor and kill everyone. This... Oh my god, okay, I gotta form everyone right now. Alright, hold on. Uh, which way? Oh, in here. 
Alright, uh... Whoa. And they got pieces of clothing, too. That's not good. Alright, hey, dude. Dude. Dude, I'm gonna tell you what they're doing right now. Another day, another dollar. No, 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 no. Here, listen to me. Not now, Phelps. Oh, god damn it, really? You're gonna be an asshole to me? Like, this is important. Wow, uh, not the shotgun? Okay. What else do we have to look for? I don't know. Find anything interesting? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. <laughs> Why would you say Borneo? Yay, we did it. Our work here is done, everyone. Peace the fuck out. Leave me alone. I'm done for the day. Uh, my partner can take it from here. So you get my partner, where is he? Oh, okay, you idiot. What are you doing being so slow? Okay, I thought I was being watched. I thought I was being watched. Um, let's go to the stupid soup factory first. All right, bye bye. Crother says Fuck the off. morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. We should go meet all these people, Cohen, Bugsy, and all these guys. Kind of a grand old time. I'm a law-abiding detective, slash not really, uh, and they're they're drug dealers and gangbangers. So why don't you use just fine. Oh my god! Shut up! I do whatever I want. I'm telling you what to do. Okay, I guess you asked, but you asked rhetorically, so you're an idiot. All right. Plus, why would you use a siren just to get to the soup company? Come on. Be, don't be stupid. Alright. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. Overseasoning? I don't think it was a case of overseasoning, dude. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please. Hold on, we were. Don't mind, we'll come with you. We didn't say we were coming to see him. We didn't say we were coming to see him. We just said that we were just asking who the owner was. I'm actually coming you here to see my follow, cousin didn't Joseph. You? you sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell. <laughs> she has nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> what is her? Is she is she unimpressed? Whoa, okay. <laughs> wow, wait, wait, I just give her the cold shoulder there. Oh my god, everyone's treating her like shit. What is going on? It was a girl from away, bitch. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. Hey, he's not that fat, he's chubby. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found five dollar bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. Well, it was only five dollars. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least thirty cans. Yeah, you're probably the one getting fat from all those, because you know it makes you high, and then you get hungry. Idiot. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? And an AK-47 to kill these goofs. On the desk, please. She seems suspicious. Why did she just do that? Huh? Why? Okay, anyway, who cares, I guess. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Uh, nope. 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 No, no. I don't care. Jack? Mm. Okay, wait. Is there further? Oh, wow, there is. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, these are a lot of names. Mostly Mexican, of course. Oh, is the damn Mexicans? Let's 
see. Let's try Jack here. Victor Guzman. That sounds very familiar to me. Alfonso Reyes. Oh, he arrested a guy named Alfonso. When was that? Was that back in, uh... Homicide, first case or something? Okay, let's just go ahead here. Um... Wait, notice any names, familiar names? I don't really, what do you mean? Um, Marco, Jorge, oh, there we go. This is familiar, 1452 North Las Palmas, a Jorge Garcia Cruz. Okay, but there's more, right? Oh, nope, okay, I guess not. Thanks for that game. All right, we're gonna answer you. We're gonna ask you some questions now, even though we didn't say anything. Even though they, we didn't say that we were, but whatever. I guess you already know this. It's just patiently waiting, like blinking the same way over and over. Okay. Anyway, tell us about your soup the cans. The sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. <laughs> yeah, look at that little smirk you gave. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're lying, Parnell. How could the cans be coming off the line sealed without your knowledge? You're the kingpin here. You want to make an accusation? <laughs> I don't know about that. Some, you better have some goddamn proof. Uh. Oh, why does it say factory sealed? I would really seal it for me. Um, does this work? I don't know if that works. It doesn't really prove that he's a kingpin. <laughs> oh, I don't have a feeling this is gonna fuck me over. Let's see. <sighs> oh, well, okay, hold on. That, that makes sense. Yeah, they were coming up. What? When I work out who's behind this, I'm gonna throw them out on their ass. And then I'm gonna throw you out alongside them. <laughs> yeah, you can try, buddy. Detective, Fucking idiot. the pot is on the boil. How about getting on with things? Shut up. Um, okay, seriously, what the hell? Well, I've done it before, I'll do it again. Be right back.